Hey guys, so I know it's been a while, but I haven't really had a whole lot to update you guys on. But today I am back with a what I am doing during quarantine video. So the short answer is really not a whole lot. It's pretty difficult to be stuck inside all the time, which I understand. And I know a lot of people are struggling with it, so I wanted to put this video out to hopefully help uh, someone or at least give you something to watch for a couple minutes if you don't find it helpful. But the short answer is I haven't been doing a whole lot. Um, I was planning on going on a trip to Costa Rica. That was going to be like a hundredth subscriber video that I was going to do. And I was going to be down there for almost two weeks, but that obviously got canceled. And it was very sad because I got my passport, which is supposed to be exciting, the exact same day that I found out that everything was getting canceled. So supposed to be exciting and it was a huge letdown and it was pretty depressing in itself. Um, but on the positive note, I've been trying to just kind of stay in some sort of routine. The first couple weeks I really struggled to have any kind of routine and I would just get up and just sit in the chair and just think about how much life sucked but that doesn't really help you with anything it doesn't uh, give you any positivity and it definitely doesn't fill your day so I've been doing a lot of gardening uh, if you follow me on Instagram on my stories I post a lot of uh, gardening stuff um, but essentially I have a bed of kale and lettuce and a whole bunch of berries and I planted tomatoes and uh, some other stuff and I've been spending some time doing that and starting new seeds and that gives me kind of something to do day to day and it can be therapeutic as well um, just taking care of something and seeing it grow and do all of that has been fun but uh, we all need socialization and we all need to talk to people and do that sort of thing. So it may sound dumb, but I have been watching a lot of Twitch, which if you guys don't know, it's essentially people just playing video games, but there is a sense of community there. And sometimes it's not really you watching the video game content itself, but you interacting with other people in the chat, things like that. And so, get up in the morning and have coffee and watch a little bit of Twitch. And that's some of like my social interaction for the day since you can't really get out of the house and do all of that. Um, I also have been playing Pokemon a lot. So the new Pokemon game on um, the Switch came out and I didn't get it right when it came out because I didn't know if it was gonna be good or not. And it still has mixed reviews, but I ended up getting it and I've been playing that so that's been filling my day um, here and there as well and then what else have I been doing uh, oh I go on a walk every single day so even if it's just around the block I get outside and breathe the real air and just go around the block even if it's just that little um, the weather has been really nice here as well so I've been laying out back in the sun or having coffee in the morning outside on the front porch, just trying to get some normalness in your life and still getting out into the sun and getting that vitamin D and doing those things. Uh, I've been giving blood every week, so that kind of gives some sense of purpose and uh, makes you have something to look forward to during the week. So I'm in the frequent plasma program. Um, I'll put a link up here. I have a uh, vegans giving blood video type thing. Um, but I'm in the frequent plasma program, so I can technically give every four days, but I've been giving uh, once a week. And my sister works there, so it's kind of cool. I get to see her at least once a week um, at work and stuff. Uh, and it gives some purpose. It gives you something to look forward to. Uh, I also have to like maintain a healthy diet so that I can keep giving plasma because plasma is a little bit more strict than just whole blood. You have to eat certain things and have enough protein and you can't eat fatty foods and that sort of thing. Um, and going along with that, I've been doing some cooking as well. 
I have been making, I call it a no fat soup. So essentially I put like cabbage and carrots and celery and a bunch of like low calorie things and then a ton of like mixed beans and lentils. And it's just in a vegetable broth and I call it no fat soup because you can pretty much eat as much as you want and you're not really gonna gain a pound of fat because it's all super low calorie vegetables and then beans, which is a good source of protein and fiber. So I've been doing that and that's pretty much it. I made some sauerkraut. Uh, it had some mold on it, which it's not supposed to have. So I might have to redo a batch of that. But if you guys haven't checked me out, I have a Instagram and I'll put it up here as well. But uh, you can follow me on Instagram and see what I'm doing. I usually post uh, my gardening stuff in the stories and then um, I'll post other stuff on my actual post. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing and I hope you guys are doing something healthy and positive. And if you're not, just reach out to a friend that you used to talk to or hang out with when everything was normal and Remember that we're only as imprisoned up here. I mean, there are certain things that change in our physical world, but a lot of it comes from our mentality of, oh, I can't go out and I can't do this and I can't do that. That's what really flips the switch of the negativity and makes it not a healthy situation is when you have a bunch of garbage in your head that you're just letting sit there and, you know, it just doesn't make for a good day. Uh, lastly, one thing that I have been doing that hasn't really changed is I have a nighttime routine. So when I'm getting ready to go to bed, I do stretches and I listen to like a meditation uh, video thing. But that has really helped me clear my mind from day to day. So a lot of us there's like a saying like oh get up and start fresh or today's a brand new day or whatever which is kind of true but a lot of us don't have the routine to where we can kind of turn off our minds and empty out all the garbage that's in there from the day and so this has been really helpful for me because i have that set amount of time where i just kind of empty out the trash i guess or take out the trash that's in my head every day so any thoughts that come up, I just sit with those thoughts and let it go. And eventually you get to a state where your mind is just kind of empty and you don't have those circulating thoughts in your head. And then from there, you can really go wherever you wanna go. We were having really nice weather here in Sacramento the other day. And I told my mom, uh, because we always like to go to Santa Cruz, I said, hey, it's Santa Cruz weather outside. We're in Santa Cruz today. So just by kind of clearing your mind and doing that, uh, I laid outside in the sun and closed my eyes and just pretended I was in Santa Cruz for the day. I mean, how many times do you have to go to that destination before you can go there in your head? I mean, it sounds kind of weird, but when you close your eyes, you can really go anywhere you want. And the weather was perfect and it was exactly the same as Santa Cruz, pretty much. Uh, my neighbor even has a little water fountain, so I got some of the water noises in the background. And I mean, it's all a mental state. It's how you approach it. And a lot of it is more mental than in the physical world. We think that we can't do things and that kind of pushes us into the downward spiral. Um, Another thing, and we all have this list of th things that we can't do because we don't have enough time. And I found that personally, I haven't done anything on that list really. Like I, we make so many excuses for why we can't do things and we don't have enough time for that or blah, blah, blah. And then when we have the time to do it, we still don't do it. So that kind of shows again that it's more just the mental aspect and that you know, if once you realize it's the mental aspect, you can kind of separate yourself from that and go a different way. So hope this helped you guys out, or if not, at least you had something to do with uh, 10 minutes of your time. But uh, follow me on Instagram and give the video a like, and I'll see you guys next time.